So here we've got a nice few easy SSMS shortcuts. I'm going to start with two performance tuning related ones, and then I'm going to move on to some query based shortcuts. But it's worth remembering that some of these shortcuts will be specific to your local machine. So on, for my keyboard, I sometimes have to use the function key as well. But for the most part, these should apply to all shortcuts on all machines. So the first one, we're going to do Control and L. Um, we can do Control and L, and it'll give us an estimated execution plan. We can do Control and M, and it highlights this actual execution plan. So once the query is executed, it will show the query plan. So if you see that's unticked at the minute, I could do Control and M, and it'll highlight this up here. So once that's executed, it provides us with the results and an execution plan. When I look at this query here, I can edit multiple lines at once. So I can do um, Shift, Alt, and whichever arrow you want to go. So in this case, I want to go lower, I'll go down, and I could do a star, or I could delete and enter my column name, and that'll let change multiple lines at once. Now with each of these objects here, I can do control and right, and it'll move through each of these objects nice and quickly. Control and left will go the other way. Now what we can do as well, we can do, if I can start from here, we can do control and page up, or in this case, page down, and it'll take us down to the end of the current page, and control and page up goes to the top of my query window. If you can see my cursor from line number one, line number one to line number 33. So the next one, we're gonna look at commenting lines out in SSMS. I can highlight here and I can do Control K, Control C, and that comments just like this. Likewise, I can do Control K and Control U and it uncomments it. And this works for multiple lines. So I can do control K just to remove that line of code. Likewise, if you didn't fancy doing the shortcut, we've got the option up here, coming out selected lines. And next to that, we have got uncommented selected lines. Now, if I wanted to execute some code here, I can do a control E, which not many people know about. Or alternatively, I can just do F5, which is what most people do, to execute a line of code. Now, if we look at the commenting again, the other shortcut, I can just do, if it's the last thing I did, I can do Control Z and it will undo. And that's pretty standard across any Windows application, just to remove the last thing that you did. It's just a simple undo. So here I've got a script that will error. So I'm going to show you a quick shortcut on how to look through the errors list. We can also look at it through view error list here. But if I execute this and then I do control backslash and E, brings up the error list there and I can highlight which, which errors I want to look at. And obviously this has only got a few lines of code in it, this script, but having hundreds of lines of code would be perfect to skip through which parts you want to. We can also look at, let's get rid of this. So we can look at another easy shortcut. Control, Shift and U will give us an uppercase and Control, Shift and L will give us a lowercase. We can also do Control and N to provide us with a new query window. And we can also do, if we go back here, we can do Control, Shift and Home. And that'll take us Control, Shift and Home will take us to the start of the script when you can see on line one and control shift and end will take us to the end of the script. In this case, it's the end of line 10 just here. Now, if I just do shift and home, I can take it to the start and shift and end will take me to the end of the current line. In this shortcut, I'm gonna show you how to use IntelliSense, which is really handy. We're going to go with, if I was to type a statement, select star from, I can then do control and space. 
will give me an option of what I can select. So I'm going to select Adventure Works. Then I can select my schema. So let's do the production. And then I'm prompted for the tables. I can select from there. Now, if I highlight anywhere in here and press Control W, then that selects the word nearest to where my cursor is. So if I move there, I can do this. Likewise, I can go along there and it'll select the whole word, which is handy if you want to just change the schema or you want to change the table that you're in. I could just delete that, control space, and it'll give me the illustration table. Likewise, I can do control A, which everyone knows, and it selects everything. Now, if I want to bookmark the current line, I can do control K twice. And you'll see here, present, presents this. Now, if I do control K, control L, I can remove that. And it prompts me to remove all of those. Likewise, if I want to view any that I've got, I can go down to here and it shows me the window for any that I might have selected. Now, if I wanted to do that for this line, so let's say I change that to the culture table. Now, I'll do control K. I've got one there. And let's say there's another one down here. Do that again. You can see them appear in the window here. Now if I'm up here and I do Control K and Control N, it'll take me to the first one, and this takes me to the next one there. Control K, Control N, and I can skip through them that way. So these next lot of shortcuts are administrative ones. So if you're a SQL Server admin, these are really really handy. So I'm going to start by doing Control, Alt, and G. Let's highlight in here. And that'll show us registered servers. Likewise, we can do Control, Alt, and T, and that'll show us Template Explorer. Control, Alt, and L will give us Solution Explorer. My favorite, if you just did F7, it'll give us Object Explorer details. And Control and F8 will give us Object Explorer over here. All of these can be found in the view drop down. We can also, if we want to do control and F4, and this will give us the properties window of whichever tab we're highlighting at the minute. We can see our connection settings, things like that in there. Now, if I'm browsing through Object Explorer, I don't have to use my mouse, I can use minus to shrink it and plus to expand it and using the arrows I can do the same thing so I can just browse through and I can look at my tables and my indexes and my triggers and things like that and equally just close them up using my plus and minus signs. Now if I'm still in my query window here I can look at all my active windows by doing control alt and down arrow. So here we can move through these. And if you're like me and halfway through the day, you've got 30 scripts open, then it's very handy just to quickly look through them and open the one you want. Now, Control and F6, we can move through the windows at the top as well if we want. So we can move, if you hit F6, you can just select through each window that you want. And likewise, with all like Word and things like that, you can do Control P and you can print stuff out for a print. And as I've shown you earlier, the Control R is a nice little shortcut for your results pane that you can hide and unhide easily there. One of my favourite ones here, though, um, Shift Alt and F7. No, sorry, Shift, yeah, Shift Alt and F7, and it will give us all our active windows that we've got open, so we can move it through this that includes object explorer the properties window and solution explorer so one of the things i strongly advise you look at is if you go to tools options look at the environment tab here scroll down to keyboard and go down to query shortcuts we can enter our own code and create our own shortcut unfortunately i think microsoft missed a trick by only granting us 10 shortcuts but I could enter, in like this case, this is a query that I might use all the time, and I could do that and do control plus four, and that would run. Or I could do SP who two. Um, so if I went to a new query window, 
make sure when an adventure works with a query works and I did control and four, it would run that query for me. Likewise, I could do what, control and three and it gives me an SP who two straight away, which is people always run this when they've got production problems. And I can query between the two really, really quick. So I strongly advise you create your own shortcuts. Really handy little tip.